Okay, so we talked about the sperm and checking your fertility of the rams or bucks that you're using. Just one of the things kind of think about um, if you don't have your own ram or buck that you're collecting to use for the artificial insemination, you can purchase semen. A lot of your show goat, show sheep folks, if they're actually doing AI, will do this because um, they're trying to get better quality genetics into their flock. Um, and just like with cattle, the cost of the individual straw is going to vary. Uh, probably just look at an average of $20 a straw on most of your uh, sheep and goat semen, uh, and it'll go up from there, just depending upon genetics of the buck or ram that you're going after. So it might be something to think about as you're trying, if you're trying to actually get, you know, better genetics in is, will the AI process work for me? Uh, what we're going to get ready to take a look at is site prep, where we'll be running in some doe, uh, does, giving them their um, sedation. And then we'll get them flipped up onto the AI cradle and move them over and prep the area where the laparoscopic incision is going to be. And basically all that entails is shaving down the belly in that area and then putting some alcohol and a, a beta dine on it to disinfect the area. That way you're not introducing any outside bacteria into the abdominal wall as you insert the cannulas. Uh, Generally, doesn't take very long, especially if you've got a good crew that's working. Uh, occasionally, you'll get a little hung up on the equipment. You may have one of the sheep or goat that the sedation hasn't fully kicked in, so they're fighting you a little bit. But otherwise, it's not too bad of a procedure going on. Uh, you will notice on the cradles that they have tie downs where the legs are tied. And that's just to help. One, keep them from struggling. Two, keep them from falling off the cradle when you tilt it up to do the procedure.
on your bag and keep you in there. You never gave me a big one on him. Hey, that's what I did to him, man. That was a good piece of shit. Thank <laughs> you.